hey guys uh, i'm using the m2 air uh, some like uh, from past one week and uh, yeah i'm using the m1 pro uh, for an year this is the m1 pro and uh, this is the m2 air you can see the physical how slim and the ports how many ports are m1 pro has the how many ports are there you can check uh, this port size everything and the, like uh, how much you know width it has so yeah uh, in 2023 if you want to take the which laptop like is it worth to move from the m1 pro to m2 air or is it worth to take it the m2 air so let's deep dive in this video yeah uh, so let's talk with the physical appearances if you see the physical like if you if i open the m2 a so it looks the keyboard looks uh, kind of little small uh, and then uh, the bezels also like little more uh, if you the same thing if you check with the m1 pro the m1 pro uh, the whatever the having the keyboard size is little more and bezels is a uh, little less so and the speakers also little louder uh, in the m1 pro and uh, yeah uh, and then uh, it has the pro series uh, chip processor and then m2 air has the normal uh, m2 chip processor Uh, experience uh, when I was you know uh, using the uh, M2 Air uh, the keyboard you know the keys uh, I feel little small but it's not making much difference and the business also like little more it's not making any much difference compared to M1 Pro and uh, yeah sound is decent enough in this uh, M2 uh, Air uh, M1 Pro is little louder uh, so yeah, uh, that's enough. Like this, this M2 Air, this this little design, that's enough. Uh, my as per my usage, everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I chosen to go for the M2 Pro or M2 Air uh, 15 inches. Then uh, uh, after uh, you know seeing the many specifications and many uh, uh, tutorials on you know uh, several you know spoken to several people. So this uh, M2 Air I thought like uh, 13 inch will be like little small for me and uh, like it's like 13 inch will be like too small I think when I thought I got the point is like it's not that much too uh, small uh, you can if you're using this M1 Pro 14 inch model you can easily like you can't see much difference with the uh, M2 Air uh, the screen size and uh, M2 Air is like the screen the keyboard little like it will be like little small compared to uh, m1 pro and it has bezels but still it's very comfortable to carry on so uh, this is the m1 pro and uh, this is the m2 air uh, the weight is uh, the M1 Pro is little heavy, so heavy is like 3.3 kgs, like 3.3 .3 pounds something. And uh, the M2 Air is like little slim and like so lightweight, like 2.5 pounds. I guess like so much, I feel I feel the weight is so much difference between the M1 uh, Pro and the M2 Air, this is M2 Air, uh, 13 inch and this is a 14 inch. The what of the screen difference is 1 inch, I didn't got any, like, I didn't see any difference in when I was experiencing, like, I didn't able to see any difference in, you know, when my doing any activities in the M2 Air. Yeah, that's, that's very good job. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's, that's the overall, you know, uh, uh, this, this, whatever, this, uh, touch ID is also very good. Yeah, that's a good. It's a, done a good job of uh, the MacBook M2 Air and yeah. Like if you are like a uh, uh, heavy like you know main uh, 4K or you know video editing like uh, it has the it has fans okay uh, this uh, M2 M1 Pro so because of the fans you can little uh, cool the system uh, as a developer I like. Uh, I know I won't use much uh, heavy tasks so like heavy task means I will open the 20 chrome tabs and 10 vs codes 
like still uh, these fans won't enable much until unless if you are you're not doing some gaming or 4k video editing on top of like uh, all these things come and leave. if you do like gaming and 4k video editing then these fans will you know cool down or else uh, this m2 air is more than enough if you are you know doing heavy tasks with the chrome apps like 20 to 30 or opening the vs course 10 to 20 m2 air i feel this is enough uh, m2 air rather than i uh, going with the gb i went to the 16 gb this is the customizable model so i spoke went to the multiple shops uh, near me, nearby me but nowhere people are providing me the m2 air uh, uh, 16 gb then i uh, ordered directly from the apple uh, so in the apple website they they are providing you like 10 to 12 days they will take like 10 to 15 days um, mostly 10 days uh, to get the you know uh, m2 air uh, 16 gb customizable model if m2 air uh, 8 gb you can get it like one day in apple website also but m2 air 16 gb will take 10 days and uh, if you are a normal user then um, if you like just use uh, normal purposes like normal like normal daily use use then uh, m2 air 8 gb is more than enough and uh, yeah just if you are like heavily using if you think like heavy use like you know uh, uh, opening the uh, so many tabs so many vs codes also m2 air 8 gb is enough still uh, 16 gb if you feel like if you are using more then uh, 16 gb is better to go or else 8 gb is uh, good to go uh, there is no issue with this uh, uh, the 8 gb version so yeah uh, if yeah it's, it depends on your usage and you know it's uh, like if based on your usage the think about like 8 gb or 16 gb the cost difference is like 18 to 20000 uh, yeah, it depends on your usage and depends on your budget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the what are the like uh, speakers? Uh, M2 Air is enough. I feel like M1 Pro is little louder and M2 Air is decent enough. Uh, whatever the you know sound is coming. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, if you are a traveler and if you are like want to you know uh, lightweight, you can choose this uh, M2 Air. And if you are like um, uh, video editing 4k and you know and uh, and uh, gaming full gaming rendering or 3d rendering uh, or machine learning expert data science people who want to you know run their algorithms in their local laptop for them like m1 pro is the best suited yeah when i was transferring the data from the m1 pro to m2 air I, I worried about like um, as a programmer as a developer I need to trans I need to uh, install the packages again in M2 Air I need to install the uh, all the node versions and you know uh, Python and Romesh but surprisingly when I was migrating the data there is a migration option will be available in the MacBooks you can uh, transfer the data from the M1 Pro to M2 Air uh, with a few clicks so this uh, in the the migration point of view right like before migrating there are there some uh, github uh, you know i didn't push it few code files to the github the github is like cloud uh, remote uh, provider so where we can store the files i didn't push it to the github because i have secret keys some keys so it's like tough to you know post those uh, keys so i thought like okay well, fine let's if it is like if those are like miss, miss it also that's fine uh, I thought and then I transferred the data from the M1 Pro to M2 Air but surprisingly whatever they open the files like if I open the uh, VS code and didn't push it anything right same exact is copied and you know what are the node versions everything is copied from the M1 Pro to M2 Air that's how I'm using the M1 Pro same I can use it with the uh, M2 Air they I nothing I needed to do any nothing installations I needed to do just a uh, little little few clicks it's smoother and you know it's done incredible job in it and then um, yeah uh, uh, so after the migrated the data from the m1 pro to uh, m2 air so uh, the uh, the data which is there in the m1 pro is doesn't deleted it didn't delete it 
uh, after the transfer to the M2A. The data is there, whatever they transfer the data from the M1 Pro to M2A, same data is available in the M1 Pro as well. Uh, if you once you transfer the data, it means the mig you migrated the data from the M1 Pro to M2A. Uh, you can no need to install anything. You don't need to do anything. Just it will do the seamless experience. If it needed, it will ask and it will uh, do it uh, automatically in the you know uh, after the migration steps. Yeah, it done a very incredible job uh, for me. Like when they transferring the data from the uh, M1 Pro to M2A, like I use it to do some freelancing things. So it's very difficult. To spend on time on you know transferring the data again, set up, setting up everything in the uh, M2A. Yeah, MacBooks done a very seamless job in it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, any questions are there? Let me know in the comment section so that I can you know respond it and I can you know clarify your uh, out of the your have doubts. That's it, guys. Bye bye. Physical overview of how you know these things look looks and. Uh, yeah, the weight is very sleek and you know very less slim. This M2 Air and M1 Pro is like very heavy weight and you know, uh, yeah, it depends on your usage, uh, which is the good for you. Uh, so yeah, 